are live and Jan good morning I don't know if you saw the post but we are going to be having a ladies tea March 19th so all you ladies set that day apart it's going to be from 10 to 12 March 19th uh, we're going to be holding it at Faith Community Church on Neptune Road here in Kissimmee we're going to do a join ladies tea with Lynette Marcy from over there. We've done our Christmas teas together. This time we're doing our our ladies tea at their church. So it which should be a wonderful time. So look at the details. Try to RSVP by March 16th for us. That way we know how many seatings to plan for. But it should be a really nice, relaxed, comfortable time with the Lord. Lynette will be doing the worship. I will be doing the speaking. And we have a surprise testimony from a very special lady that I don't want to give it away but it's gonna be a wonderful time so you ladies March 19th that Saturday set it apart from 10 to 12 to be together with us let's open up in a word of prayer dear Heavenly Father Lord we thank you so much father for the freedom that we have to open up your word Lord that we actually have your word that we can open up Lord, we have it in our phones. We have it in so many different types of media, Lord. We thank you for that. We ask that we be faithful to you, Lord. That we be, Lord, willing to set aside this time in the mornings to just spend it with you, Lord. Holy Spirit, have your way. Teach us how to hide God's word in our heart that we might not sin against him to keep our hearts pure and holy before him, that we might have the mind of Christ and walk in your ways in a way that pleases you, Lord. We love you. Teach us this morning your word. In Jesus' name, amen. We are going to start in Hebrews 3, 5 through 9. I was thinking, what do you do in uncertain times? You know, the world has these little signs, keep calm. And you see them in so many different places. Some places say keep calm. Um, what was some of the ones I saw? Have a martini, keep calm. Make cookies, you know, keep calm. Go sail away. There, there's all these things that the world says, but there's only one true way to keep calm, and that is in having the right relationship with the Lord God Almighty who made the heavens and the earth who loves you so dearly and nothing can pass through without his okay and no matter what the situation may be he gives us the strength to make it through that situation and every time we go through a hard time we come out stronger on the other side because our God is faithful so we're going to start in Hebrews 13 5 through 9 says this let your conduct be without covetousness be content with such things as you have for he himself has said I will never leave you nor forsake you the Lord God Almighty says he will never leave you nor forsake you though it may seem like he's not there he's there you know it's like a a child who's in their bedroom and they're all scared thinking they're all by themselves when mom and dad is right there in the room next door they're not really all by themselves and it's the same thing with us we're never truly by ourselves when we ask Jesus to be Lord of our life he says I will never leave you nor forsake you so it continues in verse 6 and says this so we may boldly say the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Remember those who rule over you, who have spoken the word of God to you, whose faith follow, considering the outcome of their conduct. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried about with various strange doctrines. For it is good that the heart be established by grace. It is good for your heart to be established by grace. Know that God loves you. We will make mistakes at times. But God 
loves us. And when we ask for him to forgive us, he is faithful and just to forgive us. We have to learn to forgive ourselves sometimes. Because sometimes we want to carry a burden that the Lord's already taken away. It's like, no. Let him have it. He wants to set you free. He doesn't want us to be all bound down. He wants us to be relaxed in his joy, in his peace. In 1 Peter 5, 6 through 11, it says this. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. See, he's got the perfect time. One day he's coming back, and we'll understand what all he has prepared us for. We will understand the glory that's up there awaiting us. You know, we were created in his image. He sent his only begotten son so that we could have life. All we have to do is accept that gift of salvation. Accept what Jesus did for us and release those things that we try to hold on to so tightly. You know, we allow the enemy to just keep guilt on us and let us feel condemned when that's not what the Lord gives us. He takes our burdens. He doesn't condemn us. Instead, He redeems us. He makes us white as snow. It doesn't matter what our past may have looked like. In Jesus, we have a clean, clean start. It goes on and says, Casting all your care upon Him, for He cares for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him, steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. These others in Christ that are going through hard times too, you're not the only one. Don't feel like you've done something wrong because you're going through a hard time. No, it's just we're in a world that's full of sin. There's going to be difficult times. Things are going to happen. People aren't going to lie about you. But you know what? We give that to the Lord. The Lord says, Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I will repay. Let him take care of those things. Really, he said, Don't let the enemy keep you down by holding on to offenses. Let go of them. Let God take care of those things. It goes on and says, Resist him steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. But may the God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a while, perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. One day we were going to be settled in glory with him. Enjoying streets of gold, not just a little gold band that's around our fingers or around our neck. Streets of gold. God has so much for us ahead. All we have to do is hang on to him. Ephesians is where I'm going to end up in Ephesians 2, 4 through 10. S excuse me, 2, 4 through 10. Yes, here we go. It says, but God who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved and raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works lest anyone should boast, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we would walk in them. So keep a praise song in your heart. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Blessings to you.